The Werribee River lies in a hidden corner on the western side of Port Phillip Bay. It's renowned for its brim fishery, but surprisingly it can turn on some excellent whiting and even an occasional mulloway. There are excellent facilities here too. A double launching ramp with a huge car park, jetties for the land-based anglers, and on the water, lots of moored boats under which live plenty of big black brim. Today, I'm fishing with Brad Hodges, a local brim pro who regularly fishes the Werribee two to three times a month. So what have we got here? Basically flats? Yeah, it's, it's really shallow near the, near the poles. <coughs> and uh, then it just drops down into about eight foot of water. We're sitting in about five foot, so it's just a little channel that sort of runs through the middle. And then it's really shallow out, out to the other side. So it's the only holding place at low tide is really in the channel. So hopefully. There's a whole heap of mullet and stuff that are already splashing on the surface. So. What did you get that on? That's on a turtleback, this one. Oh, you went back to the turtleback? Yeah, just, so it's on a pumpkin seed. First were a big brim for the morning. There we go. Pretty much on the drop, so. Yeah. Little curl tail just wiggles all the way down to the bottom and fish must just see it sort of just going down to the bottom and there's a whole heap of weed and stuff down there, so it looks like it's Worm's trying to get away into the weed and he's just picked it up, so it's a good sign. Alright, so we're just going to change from a, using a turtle back to a six inch camo worm made by Berkeley. It's pretty much the perfect representation of a, of a sandworm or a tube worm. What I like to do is just take off maybe the first two or three centimetres. So I'll just chop that off either with a pair of scissors or fingernails works. You can bite it if you uh, like the taste of gulp. And then what you're trying to do is run the hook as straight as possible just down the back of the, of the worm. Reason being, you need the, the worm swimming pretty much 100% straight in the water. Um, if it's not swimming straight, it's not gonna look natural. And from there, once you've rigged that nice and straight, when you start putting your twitches in, the, the tail is just going to wriggle up and down and if you've ever seen a sandworm swim in the water all, right, all they do is just sort of waggle from side to side so you want to rep, uh, replicate that sort of action when you're working your lure. Now you're saying to me before low tide early morning and you can see all the, all the mud flats out here yep. which you said is full of full of worm. Yeah definitely there's a lot of sandworm a lot of tube worms when, when the tide moves up the brim will sort of move up there so that's, yep. that's the plan for a bit later. So um, low tide, we're just fishing this channel. We've just yeah. got a drop off here. Nice little drop off. It goes. Yeah. It's it's really shallow under the boat. We're, we're yeah, just, we're sit, just, just sitting, sitting on the on the sitting weed on the and, the, and the mud, and it drops down into five or six, seven foot yeah. um, as it goes out. But it's it's quite a um, a small channel. So the other sides are quite a long, yeah. uh, shallow mud flat, and you would assume that the fish will come off the flats and, and sit in the channel. So at low tide. Well, yeah. They're just going to be out in this channel. There's As the tide really. goes up, they're going to be onto these flats here. That's right. That's where right. all the sandworms are. No way. Oh, he's on. That possibly could be a dewy. <laughs> oh, no way. Head shaking. Definitely, that is taken off. That it? is definitely a dewy. Those head shakes. Yeah. Early morning on the Werribee River, fishing for Bryn with a mate of mine, Brad Hodges, and we thought, Brad, we were a slight chance for a mulloway. Yeah, yeah, they've found. Um... And we reckon we might have hooked one here. but certainly not a brim. Yeah, the plan was to sort of kill a couple of hours just while the tide was turning. Um, and yeah, if there's ever a chance to sort of hook a mull away, it is, it is that during that tide change. Uh, so it's low tide at the moment, maybe half an hour either side where there's really not much flow. That's when they seem to come out of their hiding hole and, and feed a little bit. Whereas the brim do exactly the opposite. Mate, you watch this when he sees so. the boat. <laughs> oh yeah, what a lovely fish. Wow. Hey? That's not Ooh. just a little mull away what either. A that's, cracker. that's a nice 80 centimetre yeah. mull away. <laughs> So, 
what we're going to do is just use the lecky to to chase him down. Um, but Bill's got him under under control pretty well at the moment. But you might even be able to see him in the water there. He's just sort of hovering. What a fish! Yeah, I reckon. Oh, headshot, Bradley! Here we go. <laughs> Unbelievably uh, hooked a hooked a really nice dewy. Um, just using a six-inch camo worm. We just changed over. And here he, he is. is. Oh, he's head not around. Happy. He's not oh, got him. Oh goodness. Hey mate, <laughs> good on ya. Where would be Mulloway? Nothing better. I reckon that's all of four kilos. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> My first fish in the Werribee River. And yeah, it doesn't Western get... side of Port Phillip Bay. As good a little estuary Mulloway as you could get in Victoria. Sure. Not big for New South Wales, but I can tell you for down here, that is a cracker. Yeah, the Werribee's not known for its, its jewels. And I'll you were fish... saying to me you've only ever caught two in here. <laughs> I've fished here a long time um, and only ever caught two. So, Mate, um, that yeah. is awesome. Some people get all the luck. <laughs> Six inch sandworm, Berkeley Gulp. Yep. Nothing better. You know, mate, I've been fishing 45 years. <laughs> 45. Okay. Yep. And you know, in the last five years. Oh, he's dropped another one. <laughs> I have been amazed when I'm lure fishing, how many fish you catch when you don't retrieve. Yes. I mean, if I could give anyone a hint, if you're fishing with a lure and you're not catching fish and you want to change up or down to another technique, Go stop slow. retrieving. Go slow. 90% well, of the fish or the, or the brim that you catch will be on the paws. Um, you assume that the, the lure retrieve is, is what attracts them. But when the lure stops, whether it's a hard body or a plastic, when it's sinking down to the bottom or when it just stops on the bottom or a, or a suspended hard body, when it's just sitting motionless in the water column, that's when you'll get all your bites. So very few fish come when you're moving the lure, but you have to move the lure to get, the, get a little bit of action so that the fish come over and have a look. Very nice. More um, he is a good fish. Because of the, the low tide, they're just sort of sitting right down on the bottom and. The, the, the slower we work it, the better it is at the moment. Yeah. But yeah, I'll just, I might put yeah. the rod away and just hold the net for you. The yeah, way you're going. Right, <laughs> I aren't fishing. They're just, they're just sitting. Yeah, the water's really nice and clear at the moment. I suppose the lighter we can go in the leader, using four pound, and, and it might, yeah. even, it might even drop down to, to three and two pound, depending on how they feed a bit later. But got a bit of toe to him. Good on yeah, you, mate. Very good. Oh, Brad, good on you, thanks. All right, there you go. Cool. Get my line out of the way. So, what would you call that for at a comp? Oh, that's probably a good 750 gram sort of sort okay. of fish. Um, yeah, it's good, good quality for around Melbourne. You get you get five of those around Melbourne, you're gonna be gonna be very happy. Yeah. But um, they're really good condition at the moment. There's he's, he's almost scale perfect that fish, isn't yeah. he? He's, he's just beautiful. Absolutely so. lovely. Beautiful. Very nice. Yeah. So fishing the Werribee, what would be your favourite hard body? Um, favourite hard body, there's a bite, missed it. Um, at the moment would be the, it's a Berkeley, it's called a 3B puppy dog. And uh, they're just a little suspending hard body, about 45 mil long. Just the way that it, it suspends in the water, it just sort of tilts its head up a little bit and just slowly sort of floats towards the surface and that's, not many lures sort of do that. They sort of, quite a few sort of float up tail first, which you don't really see too many bait fish floating tail first, but the um, puppy dog just seems to get slammed on the paws, which is okay. really good. And a specifically developed brim lure. Yeah. yeah. And there's one. Yeah. Oh, good. Just while you sat down there, mate, I've, I've changed lure. I've, um, oh, I've gone to a little hard body. Have you? It's called a it's called a sub dog and it's it's effectively a stick minnow and it just sinks slowly down to the bottom and where it gets its action from is when you when you lift it up it sort of darts off like a little bit of a, um, a bait fish and then it just sinks dead straight all the way down yeah, to the okay. bottom so we were talking before about less action and this on the drop has virtually no action which brim really like okay so that's that's the brim there probably another 700 gram fish really good colours on this one though and he's you know really bronzed uh, they they like to sit down to deep in the weed and i think that's where they get their colour from but uh, the lure you can see in his mouth it's called a, a, a sub dog made by berkeley and the that colour is a mongrel and 
it's sort of a little bit translucent, a little bit brown, and it has a nice little uh, orange underbelly. And a lot of the brim lures that, that a lot of the brim tournament anglers use, they, they have that sort of orange flash underneath and it just seems to get a reaction out of the fish. Had a couple of bites. Just had to slow everything down a little bit, just let it sit on the bottom. and Again, just using a little uh, sub dog, it's just a stick minnow, it just sinks down slowly. This one's quite small, I might just lift it in. But seems to be quite a few um, schooled up at the moment. I've just had a bit of a look at the sounder and there's quite a few arches down there and they're, they're quite thick, so only sitting in about eight foot of water. Just sinking these guys down, it only takes a couple of seconds for these lures to get down to the bottom. Let it sit on the bottom for a couple of seconds and then just hop it up, let it sink back down. And that's when these guys will just follow it back down and, and generally they'll pick it up off the bottom. There's one. Our very next cast. Uh, just had a look at the sounder and there's, there's a lot of fish down there. Uh, working the sub dog just gently off the bottom. Now Werribee River fish. Got a really nice gold colour to him. Take a look at that. That mate is awesome. <laughs> That's a really good looking that fish. That is a good fish. Alright this is this is probably a, a kilo uh, brim out of the Werribee River. When you're brim fishing especially with lures doesn't get much better than a, than a kilo uh, fish. So uh, this guy's got really nice colours. Again, just taking on that sub dog, just sinking it slowly down to the bottom, a couple of hops. And uh, they seem to be loving it at the moment. <laughs> and there it goes. Right. This one I didn't even get to uh, work the lure at all. He's just grabbed it on the drop. He's playing up a bit. Another good fish? It feels like it. Bill's just changed over to a sub dog as well. Oh, so. look at that, what a great, oh, 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 awesome sized brim. They are very nice, aren't they? Oops, sorry mate. There you go, bud. So that fish, being so close to the bay, Probably been out in the clearer water in the bay, or maybe down this end of the river. A yeah, bit. for sure. That's that's what I'd be oh, assuming. Is you know, compare this to the to the previous fish that we've caught, and this guy's a totally different colour to him. He's really silver, so you'd assume he's been out on the sand flats, maybe out the front, or you know, even maybe travel it across from one of the little creeks and that sort of stuff. I'm hoping that the fish do sort of travel in and out, and that just means the the, the stocks are nice and healthy, and they they replenish plenty of times. Well, Brad, thanks. Yeah. My first Mulloway in Melbourne. It's uh, yeah, absolutely a, a, a awesome. absolute pleasure, Bill. Sorry. And some cracker brim too. I've got to tell you, Werribee River, I'll certainly be back here in the near future. It's Bill Classen here from The Fishing Show. And if you like this instructional video and want to learn more, it's simple. Go to fishingshowtv.com.au and see a whole host of additional videos.